Today we're diving into the ultimate comfort dish. We're doing crispy golden hash browns blanketed in a gooey layer of melted cheese baked to absolute perfection. It's buttery, it's crunchy, it's tender, and it's perfect for a crowd. Hi y'all, welcome to Cozy Meal Studios where the vibes are immaculate and the food is just delicious. My name's Yanni and today we're making cheesy hash brown casserole. Before we begin, do me a little flavor, make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let's get into it. We're gonna start by preparing the cream of chicken soup. In a saucepan over medium heat, add the unsalted butter. And once the butter melts, add the all-purpose flour and stir it until a smooth paste forms. This is called a roux. And a nutty aroma will appear. This is gonna take about three minutes. So we're not looking for any color. This is just gonna be a blonde roux. We're gonna slowly add the low sodium chicken broth in a thin stream while constantly whisking to prevent lumps. Then also slowly add the milk in a thin stream while constantly whisking. Now add the chicken bouillon cube, garlic powder, onion powder, kosher salt, and black pepper. Simmer this until it becomes thick and creamy about 10 minutes. Then we'll set it aside. If you're short on time, you can absolutely use a 10 ounce can of cream of chicken soup. I love a shortcut. Grease a two quarter rectangular casserole dish and set this aside. Place the thawed hash browns and onions into a large microwave safe bowl. Speaking of shortcuts, stir this until it's combined. We're gonna microwave this on high for about two minutes. Remove the bowl from the microwave, careful, cause it, it can get really hot. Stir in the cream of chicken soup, sour cream, unsalted butter, three quarters cup shredded cheddar cheese, and three quarters of a cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. I highly, highly recommend shredding your own cheese. Pre-shredded cheeses are great, but they also contain anti-caking agents. And they often prevent you from getting that like ooey gooey quality that we need in the cheese for this specific recipe. So if you can, please shred your own cheese. For a shortcut, you can also throw it in a blender. I always do this with like my cheddar, my Parmesan. I throw it in a Nutri-Ninja and I let it go. I let it do all the work for me. Now season this with salt and pepper to taste. Let's transfer the hash brown mixture to the prepared baking dish. Spread the remaining half cup of cheese over the casserole. And now we're gonna prepare our crunchy topping. In a bowl, we're gonna combine the crushed corn flakes or panko breadcrumbs, depending on which you prefer, and mix it with the melted unsalted butter. If you're out of panko or corn flakes, you can also use like crushed buttery crackers. They'll also work perfectly well here. Evenly spread the crunchy topping over the casserole and cover the casserole dish with aluminum foil and bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Afterwards, uncover the foil and bake it for an additional 15 more minutes until the top is nicely browned. When it's done, take it out of the oven and garnish with finely chopped parsley and serve. Enjoy, babes. For the full recipe, please head to that description box below or you can go to cozymeal.com recipes. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. As always, my name is Yanni and thank you for watching Cozy Meal Studios. Mwah. Until next time.